So this is the famous, or should I say infamous, Todmorden Curve. Check out the railway line there, just snaking off into the undergrowth. 500 metres of line, the closure of which has really held Burnley back over the last 40 years. Without it, the 23-mile journey to Manchester can take up to an hour and three quarters. Without it, Burnley simply isn't on the map. It's about being able to get into Manchester to do business. It's about people from Manchester being get, getting to Burnley to do business. People that might choose to invest in the place will always look at how they can connect to other places, how they can travel to places that they know they will need to go to to do business. Changes the game for Burnley. This taps Burnley directly into Manchester's growth. Jobs here attract £380 a week. Jobs in Manchester, £500 a week. It taps redevelopment projects like this, the Weavers Triangle, into that growth as well, levering up more investment to create jobs here. These are real jobs. Uh, we're already talking to local uh, stakeholders who will be involved with us in the scheme. We're talking with UCLan and Burnley uh, Football Club with regard to new student accommodation. And we're also talking to a number of local companies who want to relocate on the site. Right now, the train station is just a few parking spaces and two platforms. All of that will change by 2014. If you have a train that goes from here to Manchester, it'll only take, it'll take less than an hour. So it'll be, it'll, be, it'll be cheaper as well. Ideally, if I could, I would prefer to get the train to work. Uh, but I've recently checked and it takes about two hours, 40 minutes to get to work. Semi detached farmhouses, uh, cottages. I meet a local estate agent just a few miles up the road. This link suddenly puts Burnley on the commuter belt. And with prices like that, it's good news for Manchester too. Uh, cottages.